Hey, y'all, uh, how's it going? It's your boy, Canar Lewis. We in the flesh. We doing it right. And I'm here today to talk to you about a topic that I know it can be frustrating to deal with. And that's about the tug and war, that back and forth. You know, I, I find it difficult sometimes when we're in this tug of war and we're contemplating when is it going to be good again? How come I'm in bad? Because sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. And it's like this cycle. This is this circle that it just doesn't seem to end. And I, I think we ask ourselves that question, right? When is it going to be good again? You know, and I, I think... For the most part, there are some things that we can't control, right? You know, there, there are unforeseen traumas and injuries that we're just not going to be prepared for. And I know it can be even more discouraging when you're trying to heal or you just got out of a healing stage and then, boom, another one. And you're just getting out of a healing stage and then, another one and you're just getting out and it's like come on bro come on god like what's happening right now it's like you just throwing punches it's like you don't want to let me rest and in those cases it's like you want to give up it's like you want to stop fighting you know and you know we could get a little complacent a little bit because it's like i'm just tired of it it's like i lost my energy i lost the drive because it's like the good doesn't last long enough and I'm seeing bad too many times. And I think in those moments, right, I, I think we have to continue fighting. We could maybe slow our pace, right? We don't got to go full sprinting. We, we don't got to go full. But this is a marathon. Life is a marathon. And the reason why I, I want us to continue going because... If you stop when it's bad, if you give up when you're hurting, and then that's all you're going to know. And I know, but, but like, the good don't last long enough. Well, maybe we got to look at it at a, at, a, at a different angle. You know, although some things could be out of our control, I believe that there's a level of accountability that we could all participate in. And maybe that's understanding why this cycle is appearing. Maybe it's understanding what do our partners and our relationships truly ask of us? You know, what are, what are we not doing enough to attain our dreams? You know, what is happening? What, what is the audience asking us to be of service for? You know, what is our bodies telling us? You know, you know what what adjacent ligaments and bones are we analyzing and understanding so that we don't have the same injury again? What traumas are still lingering that we tried to heal through, but you know we didn't really do enough. And I think that's that's sometimes the issue of why the tug of war always happens, why that back and forth happens is that. Maybe we're not doing enough. It's not to cast shadows or blame, you know? And it's not like, oh, you're not doing enough. It's all your fault. No, no, no. It's like we just didn't read enough. You know, we didn't look at a different side. And sometimes we're not even aware of it, you know? And that's why I wanted to take the time to give ourselves some grace, but take the time to see what's actually happening. You know, I had to do that with my injuries. I'm learning more about my body now than I did when I had my first couple of surgeries. You know, I'm learning more about my own traumas now than I did five, ten years ago. You know, and it's easy to give up. And it's tiring to have to deal with these battles because it's like, how long this going to last? And I think we could look at it like that. But I think that mindset would only lead us to despair because now you now you don't even 
get to enjoy the good. It's like as soon as you get out of the bad, it's like now we're pessimistic. Now we're going. And that's trauma right there. But at the same time, that's us understanding why we are thinking that way. You know, what other angles, what can we do to rectify this situation? What more can we learn to understand it? And I'm not saying that more information will magically dissipate negative results in the future. But maybe it could minimize it. Maybe it could prolong the good times just that much more. And I, I, again, life is a marathon. Life's a journey. Life's a battle. And I think if we're not willing to fight, then maybe we're not willing to live. I know that could be harsh and that could be difficult to grasp, but at the end of the at the end of the day, our life is better through the turmoil, and we found beauty in it. I just need us to continue to find more beauty. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.